How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. That is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. <laughs> left! Oh. Was that my left or your left? You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some antazim. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. I met Rice, and Jade's right, he's a psychopath. He's also the GRE's rogue operative. Now I've gotta cooperate with this piece of shit. Not only because of my mission, but also because he's got a ton of antizen stockpiled. There you are. Rai said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. And if I do this, I'll get the antis in? That's between you and Rice. You here to join? <laughs> Shit, you in the last minute. Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Or number one flunky at the very least. Kareem's sending me to fix some antennas for Rice. Nothing better than being an errand boy.
Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No. He thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal, so Rise can communicate with Atlas at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. Perhaps. But the Emperor must monitor his empire. This doesn't concern me. I'm not done with you! Where are you going, huh? Now you're just making me mad.
Thank you. Some people are worse than biters.
Bream, I'm at the first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. shouting because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. Not a bad reason. Fucking on! Sinking fast. You've got less than an hour to return to your safe houses. After that, you'll be on your own.
Shit. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck, I was afraid of that. All right, head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. Hey, Kareem, what do I do if the second transmitter's trashed? The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably, die horribly.
Cream him at the second antenna tower. And the fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei. And probably his son Christoph. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. What do you want? I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. I won't do this anymore. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me! Kristoff, what's wrong with you? You're trying to stay alive here. That, these guys are killers! Yes, they're murderers.
was worth it. Still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem, second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. as soon as I can. To know. My name is Troy. I lead a small group of survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the Embers. Sector Zero is completely sealed off. Mr. Crane, until you restored radio communication, we didn't know if anyone else in the city was alive. I just wanted to let you know how grateful we are. You've given us a small measure of hope. Uh, well, I'm happy to help. If there's ever any way we can help you, Mr. Crane, Please, don't hesitate to ask. The job's done. Now it's time to get back to Rice and get that antizen. Well, you not only did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazin when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazin. <sighs> all right, fine. 
What do you want me to do? This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. To put down a family member. Ah, my friend. Rice likes you, I can tell. Yeah, how? Because you are still among the living. The task at hand is as easy as can be. You simply have to make a few pickups from some nearby settlements. Which ones? The first is Jafar's wheel station. It's just east of here. But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in a cooperative state of mind. I'm sure you can be convincing, though, no? I guess I'll have to be. In the drawer? <laughs> Shit, you wouldn't last a minute. I can't say I'm surprised that Rise went back on his word. But the GRE won't let me just walk away. Plus, if there's any chance that we can get that Antis in, I have to try. So this time he wants me to gather protection money from the surrounding settlements. And after this, he better hand over the drugs. Crane here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. Just do what he asks and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, Crane out.
Reem, I'm by the wheel station. Took you long enough. Get the job done and make it fast. This is just the first stop. You Jafar? Oh, I understand all. My name isn't important. What's important is that Rise sent me, and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. For all I know, you're just some random asshole. Fuck off! I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay! Jesus! You are one of Rice's thugs. You guys are the only ones who'd act this shitty. Here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa, su casa. Just don't hurt me, all right? Kareem, it's me. So I just threatened to break an old man's legs. And it worked, didn't it? Next you collect a tribute from the fisherman's village. Head east, to the tunnel entrance. Their messenger always meets us there. I'm running errands for Rise. He wields a lot of power, scares a lot of people. Damn right he does. Listen, mate, time's getting short. We're almost out of answers in. As much as I hate to admit it, I'm getting worried. I'm doing the best I can out here, Brecken. I know, I know. I understand. I just want you to be aware of the stakes. I'm infected too, remember? Believe me, I'm motivated. All right, all right. He's hoping you can make it back to the tower soon. That? The cream, I just saw something I've never seen before. This huge bloated infected just fucking exploded. Yeah, we call them bombers. Some of our guys use them to kill other infected. Shoot them, and they take out everything in a three meter radius. You kidding me? Keep your distance and you'll be fine. But what about the courier? Was he there? No, I didn't I didn't see anybody, just fucking zombies. Alright. You'll have to go to the village directly, I suppose. Look for a man named Gersel.
Okay, Kareem, I'm outside the village, but there's a whole horde of infected in there. I don't know if I can take out that many by myself. Gate closed before more of those fuckers get inside. Hello? Anyone here? Just stay still. Maybe you go away. Anyone here? Rice sent me. I'm here for a pickup. I'm here on Rice's behalf. I'm supposed to pick something up. Oh my god. That's one of Rice's men. What do I do? Just tell him to go away. Do it nice and maybe he'll leave us alone. Better yet, send it to Gersel. He'll know what to do. Please. We don't know anything. 
Go talk to Gerser. He lives about the storm. Hey, anybody in there? Shh, not so loud. The brother monsters. Look, I got rid of them, but you better reinforce that gate before more show up. You got rid of them? All of them? Rye sent me. You, Gersel? Oh, you were for Rye's. Ah, I should have known this was too good to be true. You've taken enough. You can't have any more frickin' tell him. Ayla, please. Just let me talk to the man. You can't just push us around like this. Furkin gonna kick your ass. Do it, Furkin. Kick his ass. For God's sake. Look, I don't want any trouble. But we already paid this month. You're gonna bleed us dry. That is entirely not my problem. Rise wants his payment, so you make the payment, or things get bad for you. And your woman. You can't threaten us. Kick his ass, Furkin. Give me a break, Isla. All right, fine, here. This is all of it. Ugh. A real man would have kicked his ass. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. Okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's money. I fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. Any guess how those infected got through the fence? Guess? I know exactly how they got in. That masked nut job soared through the husp. Who are you talking about? They call him Gas Mask Man. He lives outside. He's crazy in the head. So he wears a gas mask all the time. Like it's going to protect him. And you're sure it was him? One of the guards saw him cut the husp and run off. Someone's got to do something about that guy.
Shakur is not taking visitors today. If Shakur didn't want visitors, Shakur shouldn't have sabotaged the fence at the fishing camp. What? What are you talking about? That wasn't Shakur, that was Gas Mask Man. You're Gas Mask Man. Me? You're insane. Why would you think that? Because you're wearing a gas mask? But you have been tricked, my friend. This saboteur was an imposter who makes himself to look like me. So you will be angry at Shakur. But Shakur knows who did this. Shakur saw him without his mask. So you're saying you saw someone disguised as you? I watched him from behind the rocks. He did not see Shakur, but Shakur saw him. Well then Shakur better tell me who it is. No. <laughs> My information is far too valuable. If you want to know what Shakur knows, then first you will do a thing for me. Then I will tell you. We're not negotiating, Shakur. Of course not. Shakur tells you what to do, and you must obey. Now, obey Shakur! And what exactly does Shakur want? There's a lake nearby. My treasure bag fell out of the boat, and was lost in the water. I've got your bag. Why couldn't you get it for yourself? Shakur can't swim. Now, first the bag. Then I tell you who is Shakur and Buster. All right. Okay, Shakur, tell me what you saw. First, the imposter sneaks out of the village. He's very quiet, like a master spy. Then he puts on a mask. Then, he sneaks back to the gate, but now he is very noisy, so the guard would see him. Then he cuts the lock and runs away. Did you recognize him? He looked crazy to me. Nothing like Shakur. But do you know who he was? Of course. He's one of the fishermen, the one who's disguised as Shakur. All right. I'll check it out. By the way, Shakur, what was in the bag? My air. My precious, clean air. 
No, I can breathe again. How many people have keys to open the gate? Just a few. Tom, Gersel, or Musa. Thanks. What can I do for you, Crane? You sabotaged the gate, Gersel. You let the infected into the village. Me? It was the crackpot into the mask. The, the guard saw him. Yeah, but someone else saw you. Who? What is he? Show me. Well, there's also the mask I found in your hut. Yeah, well, what was I supposed to do? The village didn't want to pay tribute to Rice, and Rice was getting impatient. That's why he sent you, right? So you allowed an attack on your own people? I had to convince them that they needed Rice's protection. It did the job, didn't it? So what the hell do you care? Now Musa wants to put a bullet in Gas Mask Man. And that's a problem? Yeah, make sure it doesn't happen or you'll be explaining why you allowed Infected into the village. All right, all right. I'll talk to Musa and the guard. All right, Gas Mask Man won't be bothering you anymore. Did you put a bullet in him? No, that wasn't necessary. After what he did? Look, you may not like it, but murdering people is still kind of a big deal. If you decide it isn't, you and me are gonna have some problems. No problems, mister. I just got mad. I never hurt anybody. Thanks for talking to him. <laughs> 